Good morning. Space by the field dock. Okay. Okay. He said okay. Uh, All right, we're here yeah. to Yeah. Two cleats. I've got a bridle here, it's got two loops. We're gonna put one on each of your bow cleats. How do you want it done? Uh, one can go over, we'll put one through just as a safety. We started hooking the boat. What was that? Started hooking the boat. Uh, what do you got for lines? Got four out. Okay, yeah, you can take your midship lines off. <coughs> Okay. See if you want to just drop that line below your bullpit. Okay, when you're ready, you can take off the rest of the lines. I'm just basically pivot them back off the docks or not, roping along it. All clear?
It's a big heavy belt. They wanted to be moved yesterday and it's blowing about 25 gusting into mid 30s. Yeah, I was like, there's no way in hell we're moving this thing yesterday. Yes. Even trying to get them off the dock here would have been insane. But we're going's even sketchier, so. Like, nope. Not worth it, both for. Safety and just viability. We're heading over to Bradenton Beach Marina, so I'll see you guys when we get there. When we go into the marina, I'm not going to be able to see anything on that side. All right. So I'm going to need you guys just to keep an eye out. Okay. Yeah, you can take that one off. Uh, we're going right over here, going to Bradenton Beach, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right before the bridge. You can just drop it. Our hookup's on the back side on the other side. What was that? Our hookup? Yep, we're going to the field dock, so it's going to be a uh, starboard side tie. Which one? Which engine? Yeah. Uh, that's Perfect. Well, if you want to start it up, I don't think we'll need it. Okay. But can't hurt to have it.
what? Did they not say we're going to the fuel dock? Huh? Did they not say we were going to the fuel dock? Yeah, There's no room there. Yeah. Well, give him a call because there is no room. What was that? We can hook up and everything, so I don't know where. Yeah, there's no room at the field dock, though. I don't like this. Can you give them a call on the phone, see where they want us? There's no room there. There's no room. What did they say? Yeah, they gotta clear off that whole field off if they want us to go there. What was that? Did you like this at Evermore? No, this is just one of the worst ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, which one do you prefer? Well, f usually for a boat this size, we'd be taken up to the Manti River. Really? Yeah, somewhere up there. You said Corey's at the end of the dock. They do realize you're a 42 foot boat, right? Huh? They do re know you're a 42 foot boat, right? 42 all the way. Yeah, but they know that, right? It's actually on the title that says 38, but it's 42. But they know that. That you're not like a small boat? I told him that on the phone yesterday. Five minutes later. At the end of the field dock, there's two people waiting to catch us. There's no room there. <laughs> he said there's no room there. Forty foot, give the dock, he said. Come in there. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there's a boat. There's two boats on the end. I think right that boat that just left was right in front of that one. Okay. 
você, hein? Vai que você tem que We might crush the other boats that are there, but... Here we go, right? Yeah. And see that center console still sitting right at the end of the dock there. Huh? That center console still sitting right at the end of the dock. On the fuel dock. Yeah. I don't know where they want us. I can't it's get... on the other side of it. I can't get through there. Yeah, I mean... They gotta move those boats. A few moments later. And it's okay if they fuel up a boat, but don't tell me it's open. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the guy's walking inside too. What the f One eternity later. Got two boats going in. This one and they're going on there, it's out of the bridge. Oh. Parasail boat, I believe, has a slip, so. Huh? So I believe the parasail boat has a slip here. I think so. So they had three boats on the fuel dock, and I mean, this marina is just terrible. They have no radio, and they struggle answering the phone. But the person answering the phone was positive. There was 40 feet of empty space on the fuel dock because she didn't talk to any of the people on the fuel dock and realized that there was three boats that were sitting there. So they moved two of them, and one finally left. See, so was this so difficult for him? I mean, that guy could have pulled up when he went to pay. Clearly. Had plenty of room for the boat he had. Yeah. Nice and slow. Kind of let the wind push us in. Let him get that bow line. More. Let me know when they get it tied on, I can bring your stern over.
Yeah, I'm, if you get that stern on, I can move the bow around. You got a bow line too. Yeah. Good. Good. You're welcome. You take care. You too. I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him deal with the boat. I, I wanna. I wanna go back to the mountains. I don't know. It's a little bit warmer down here. Actually, today I think it's warmer up there. It wouldn't surprise me. It's freezing out. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday would have been a lot nicer if it wasn't so windy. Yeah. Well, that was a bit more of an adventure than it was supposed to be, but thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.